standard procedure. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button right now. Before we proceed, I will just let you guys hear the sound of Odias' sponge. This is of course the future right here, whom I interviewed some while back at that time i was still very much inactive um i was i was very much active um but i don't have very I've, I've been i've not been so much uh active here uh on youtube but we'll be back we're coming back early now let's get it right here Well, how everyone needs to be very wary of this guy right here. Odiasse has been on the radar, you know. He's the future. I tell you, right, listen, you know, when you look, see, listen, there are some boxes you see or you watch. You just know that they've got it. Odiasse is a student of the game. Des despite choosing boxing a little bit late, you know. But he's still very much young. Um... His intention was not to be a boxer, but he tried it once, got in the ring, you know, and he just liked it. He fell in love with it. You know, when you love a sport, you begin to like have so much interest in it and you become better at it. That's what he has his case. All he has, uh, I've watched a lot of his, um, you know, amateur fights, bro. This guy fights like a seasoned fighter. And funny part is that he sparred. All your favorite fighters, I think, outside Tyson Fury, Usyk, is part Usyk, okay, Anthony Joshua, uh, Derek Chisora, Dillian White. I mean, I'm talking about the big, the no names. I'm talking about names known, okay. Deontay Wilder, he also spied Deontay Wilder. I think it's uh, um. This part, um, I mean, like, I, don't, I mean, I can't come, bro. It's too many. I mean, I, it's too many. Of course, you cannot measure. Listen, you can't really measure fighters with sparring. However, when fighters um, are caught for sparring by elite fighters, you know they've got something the elite fighters don't really have in their camps, and that's why Odias uh, has been in every top fighters uh, uh, or camp training camp and now he's set to make his professional debut in munich he said right here quote i will officially step into professional boxing on saturday october 20th i will make my debut with p2m boss promotion in munich i appreciate any support whether you're there in person or watching via the live stream if you can share this post it would mean a lot to me. I'm ready to shake up the pro scene and hope you join me on my rise to the top. Listen, what they are is a well spoken guy as well. He's a young guy. I think he's 20, 23, 24 now. Yeah, I think he's 23 or so. Young cat, you know. Um, He's got tremendous power. His range, uh, he knows how to keep his range. Um, He knows how to use his size. It reminds me of um, a throwback fighter. You know, you know, you know. You see some fighters like they, they, they when they, when they, when they start fighting, you can see some flaws in them and stuff like that. Or oh, this is like a, of course, you see some flaws, but he's like a um a mid professional uh, fighter already, despite not being that long at the game. And his head movement is accurate. He moves his head very well. He knows when to re unleash his uh, combinations on you. And of course, and if you're hurt, he knows when to pounce on you or, you know, pepper you small. Like, you know, give you some, some of those, uh, you know, you know, jab you, jab you, jab you. And then, and then maybe then you see when you're tired, then he get, he get he pounce on you. Listen, listen, this guy knows how to control range, you know, for a very young uh, fighter. So, uh, I think it's 6'7". Uh, as you can see right here, you know, starting side by side with um uh Usyk. Usyk is i think Usyk is uh i'm i'm so i'm i'm, I'm just surprised that Usyk is 6'6 six, six. i've been told that Usyk is 6'6 six, six. 
weird so that's a six seven okay is your uh like your perfect heavyweight size the perfect heavyweight size of the of, of more than heavyweights uh are very big you know they're huge okay Usyk is like a very small guy but more than everyone are huge now i can't wait october 28th you guys should tune in go follow him on instagram at um emmanuel odiasse or ima odiasse just type emmanuel odiasse with one m okay no two m um you see him right there follow him and uh, let's grow this brother because listen um he's a nigerian or german he's a nigerian german um it's yeah, nigerian german born um you know very cultural um embrace embrace both sides you can even see the mouthpiece right here <laughs> nigerian mouthpiece bro i tell you right now man, i don't have anybody like that but this guy on the other side not 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 probably go be you know the like we have we have a lot of fighters who are coming up the likes of rafa Pajori, despite having you know taking a loss I could have bounced back. It's just one of those things that happened in boxing. And if, if, it's even better that Pedro took a loss um, because from there, he have, he, he, learn, he will learn from it. Took a loss early in his career. Odias, on the other hand, uh, is a prospect and um, um, he's going to de develop into a phenomenal fighter. You know, go watch a lot of his, uh, you know, allies, you know, like amateur ally. I think I have one of them here as well bro he, he literally toyed with that guy and he's boxed in in a lot of countries as well that's not mature so and he's turning pro at the right time i can't wait because you know when you look at um joe joy joe joy turned pro too late and he caught up with him it's far it's good that he's turning pro early now like at the right age at the right time and then he can have time to develop grow you know fight by you know as a as a as a as a as an amateur guy as an amateur you do fight a lot of um different styles but they don't really put the te they, that is not as you know you know there's nothing really on the line for that but this time around there's thing on the line he's fighting for something he's fighting for glory and it's fighting for the trophy which is to conquer the world and he's got the attributes to do so the next crop of everways I think Himano Diasa is right up there, the next future crop of heavyweights. Of course, we know we have, you know, the likes of Adelaide. Adelaide is still very raw, bro. I tell you right, Adelaide, like, listen, Adelaide's defense, Adelaide, Adelaide being very good, his defense needs to be tightened up. You know, Fabio Wardley, very good, his defense needs to be tightened up. The chin he sometimes leaves the chin on the air but fabio wardley came from a white collar fight and um, fighting background so i can't really you know fought him too much Adele, on the other hand you know he's been boxing for a long time so he does need to get that defense right you know definitely um daniel dubois you know who recently lost to usik he did well against usik he showed courage of course he did you know quit again but he showed courage uh you know and he, he almost like i think in my opinion he did that was a not that that should have been his favor like usig literally uh got hurt to the body you know and uh also i forgot to tell you guys that um audience is a great body puncher <laughs> we know this long time bro bro he is a great body puncher you know so you don't get invited by elite fighters training camps if you are not if you are not good so i can't wait um i wish i could i, I wish i can go there to munich you know it's a little bit far from where i'm right now for, for very far but i will be streaming it live and uh, i will definitely look at the look for the link to pay for it and stream it this is the future right here and we as nigerians must support the asset differently you know and i don't know i don't blood you be so you know we got to support differently and um support all our other brothers as well Adelaide, you know Akbajere, uh and the rest that are coming up in fact what happened to lawrence okoli bro i don't know what happened like is he fighting again or what's going on 
you know, after losing, the guy just disappeared like that. Very sad. But like I said, Adelaide, in my opinion, he is the most, is the most complete um, amateur fighter that I've seen in every scene so far. And the most complete, you know. Of course, we need to see them in a professional fight to kind of balance the equation, you know, to see how, you know, how they develop, how good they really are. But there's something about this guy. His footwork is phenomenal. Um, of course, if you want to bang, he bang with you anytime you want. If not, what you want, he'll give you. If not, what you anything you want, you get her. If not, boxing, he will box you. So I'm really, really, you know, impressed. I'm really, really happy that uh, he's finally gonna make his pro debut with P12 Box Promotion, and I think he will get a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, attention and uh, a lot of. I hope, I always, we we need to support him definitely, support him for sure. So I will be posting the link. Um, I will ask you for the link. I'll post the link so that you guys can uh, go there and live stream it, and you know. You know not to pay now, now I'm not go dear now, you know, 10 euro, not be anything now, so, help our brother, you know, grow, stuff like that, because I also like the fact that, you know, most of this, a lot of these fighters, when they sign, when they sign, they love this great prospects, when they sign, they always sign with big name, pro, you know, promotion, you know, and then those big name promotion want their money very quick, him signing with P2M now, is a start, you know, you know, it's a start, it's a start, you know, I start, they kind of take them step by step. I'm really impressed with this. I can't wait for his pro debut March in Munich. Can't wait, guys. Let me go subscribe. God bless you all. Support each other. Cheers, guys. Take care. Standard procedure.